Wakey, wakey, it's New Year's Day. <laughs> Time to awake to this beautiful new year. Happy New Year. Hopefully you have recovered from your New Year's Eve, getting lit, wilding out, whether you were out in the streets celebrating with family or in church or all of the above. I hope you had a wonderful New Year's Eve and you have awoken to a beautiful new year a beautiful new decade. Happy New Year. Now, because it is the first of the month, it's time for Debt Snowball Update. For me, I complete Debt Snowball Updates on the 1st and the 15th of every month, as you know. Normally, I go through my monthly budget goals first, but I haven't quite got those together yet. I'll be posting that soon. So in lieu of monthly budget goals, I just want to share something with you. Last night, I started to reflect on where I was last year in this journey and where I'll be this time next year. Now, this year, 2020, I'll see the end of a journey that I started over 25 months ago, and probably sooner if I add up all the time I've tried to focus on becoming debt-free and failed and tried again and failed. You know, I can't be more excited that 2020 is gonna be it. By this time next year, I'll be consumer debt-free. I'll be contributing heavily to my retirement. I'll be saving and giving and traveling what a difference the start of this new decade will make. Now, I'm beyond grateful for another day, to see another year, another decade. I thank God for you, your encouragement along the way, for you sharing your journey with me. I'm so proud of us. I'm excited about what we're going to get done in 2020. Let's go. All right, that all being said, Happy New Year. It is time to update some debt balances. So I have already created a new worksheet. I'm just going to retitle this. Let's see here. Let's get this right. 2020. All right. So the blue green balance sits at $7,904.93. The American Express is at $5,762.61. All right. I can delete this. And if you don't already know why I deleted that, check out my last video where I talk about that one being wiped out. Look at this, the starting debt amount, $55,358.29. The debt paid so far, $41,690.71, which represents 75.31% of that starting debt amount. And the current debt, is at $13,667.54. Yay. <laughs> All right. So, wow. That is really, really something. So I've adjusted my screen uh, just a little bit so I can make it larger and pull in these worksheets below because I'm going to be moving around just a bit. Now, I want to adjust this starting debt amount because I believe when I added this new debt, that medical bill, I adjusted that starting debt amount. So I just want to validate that that is accurate. I'm going to take over here this minus. I'm going to hop over here, here. And yes, it was the 1884.62. And so what I'm actually going to do is adjust this because I don't owe the 189.72. So I'm now going to take this amount, and this is just a little bit of housekeeping. And so my balance was $1,694.90. So this was actually the amount I was responsible to pay as opposed to this, which had that $189.72 in it. So I'm going to adjust this one here to reflect the $1,694.90. So let's see, $1,694.90 equals this plus 1694.90. So that amount is actually 55,168.57. 57. So 55,168.57. Okay, and make that adjustment there as well as we're just going to copy and paste it here as well. So I just wanted to make that adjustment since the part that I was responsible for wasn't that whole $1,900. It was more so $1,700. So this is my starting debt amount. The debt I've paid so far, 
1.03, which is 75.23%. And the current debt amount is still at $13,667.54. What I want to do is just go back and compare to this time last year. So what I'm going to do is, you know me in formulas, I'm going to enter a formula here that takes this debt paid so far and looks back on the January 1, 19 debt paid so far. And so I have paid over $17,969.91 exactly in debt paid so far. And of course, you know, with interest and all that stuff, there has been more, <laughs> but $17,969.91. And then I'm going to do the same for this here. And what I'm doing is just dragging that down. The formula should adjust. Let's expand that a little bit so that B10 and then the second part looks to B15 on the other one, which should be two rows below. And my current debt amount has decreased by $16,275.01. And of course, these are relative to their starting debt amounts. So they're off just a little bit. I would say the debt paid so far is probably what I'll look more to as far as accuracy. The debt paid so far is just what it is. It's how much I've paid. Um, not counting interest and all that. So over 17, almost $18,000 of debt paid in 2019. And what I have left to pay for 2020 is $13,667.54. So seeing how much debt I paid in 2019 and how much I have left to go, looks like 2020 is about to be bomb. Y'all already know. <laughs> 2020, yes. Like I said, let's go. Hopefully things are going well with your debt snowball and the beginning of your year and decade has started off really, really well. I want to thank you for all of your support and all of your encouragement and all of your kicks to get it going and moving in the right direction. I appreciate you so much. I hope you have a great day and I will chat with you next time. Bye.